Hello and welcome to the Flory Models Friday Catch Up Show. Here we are with you on the 5th of January 2024, our first week back or first part of the week back, obviously we weren't here on Monday, so a little bit of a funny week, but a lot of what I've been doing this week has just taken a little bit of time to clean out all the old stuff on the forum and going through it, which we'll have a look about in a moment. But generally going through, ending obviously all of the old group builds and SIGs that finished obviously on the first, getting those categoried away and put them into their various areas so your actual build threads now are in the you know selective areas where they should be on the forum uh, and those have been done and put away i've also done the reveal videos which you'll get at the end of the show for the 1950s group builds amazing work on that uh, so you'll get that one at the end of the show so hang around for that one definitely and then next week you'll get the one for the group build that ended as well for the born in america or born in the usa sig that was actually running as well so that one's done they've all been put away and moved over and we've got new sigs which are starting which we'll talk about in a moment but again one of those things I know some things move around if you can't find it easiest way is to go in your profile members pop in there you can see all your posts all your own posts so you can just click on it and go straight to it and you'll find it a lot quicker that way all right but anyway on Monday I just did um, like a state of the union address as I call it I do it every sort of you know beginning of the year obviously what we're planning on doing this year looking ahead some of the changes the changes are brought about every year because I do my little thing where between Christmas and New Year I put up and ask for feedback honest frank don't sugarcoat it what you love about the site what you hate about the site what things you want to see more of what things you'd like to see a lot less of what things you think are you know not relevant and we don't need to worry about what things do we missing and what do we need to cover and do more of and again Again, you guys are fantastic and gave me brilliant feedback all the way through like I said members you drive the site it's not YouTube it's not money or anything it's purely you guys what you want is what you're gonna get so at the end of the day if you can see a little bit of a rhythm uh, of something that's going along or there's something that's not quite right sometimes it's very difficult for me to see it because I'm just head down producing material every single day as you probably know so sometimes I do miss it so this is a great way for me to take a state back get the old down look onto it all and then that way I can actually sort of see exactly what's going on and what sort of thing so if you guys are all seeing to there's a trend mentioning about a certain thing then obviously we can do something about it you know in other words if you're not mentioning it I'm taking it as sort of gold that it's all good and you don't care so it's fine but again some things were mentioned and I agree with them totally and some little changes we've already started to implement obviously onto our shows that we've been doing the big one of course was uh, about the amount of free stuff that goes out onto YouTube which I totally get I know and this is one of the things and I've said before you guys pay my wages it's not YouTube don't make any money out of YouTube but at the end of the day it's the members so obviously we're driven by what the members want and what they're happy with and obviously 99% of them appreciate that we need to put free stuff out for two very good reasons which I always say the first one is to sort of infuse people into the hobby to get people excited about the hobby not just for here becoming members or joining the Flory family or anything else like that but getting people generally in the hobby and getting them excited about it if you can cause a little bit of a buzz as I call it it's a great way of getting new people into the hobby perhaps people coming back into the hobby or starting out for the first time and that's what we've always tried to do at Flory Models is to encourage new people into the hobby or people returning into the hobby in a nice friendly and constructive way to get them up to speed as fast as possible so that's the obviously the big thing from that the second reason clearly to get new subscribers you know I'm not gonna lie here we're a business at the end of the day and like I said you guys pay for me to do this as my full-time job which I'm truly blessed for and I appreciate every single person person who subscribes to us so again it's that thing about an advert so we put out material so people can get a feel about what we do and what we're about and then obviously they join us fall in love with the site love it and like a lot of you and we're working out there some of you now have been members for over 23 years almost a quarter of a century we've been doing this almost 25 years and some of you now are up to year 24 so um, yeah we'd be giving out medals at the end of this one but again it's a good way but I appreciate a little bit of the feedback was there's a hell of a lot that's available that's free out on YouTube so obviously the things where we do all weekends Thursday nights are free Tuesday afternoons various other bits and pieces we do and specials and it's all free so we have cut it back a little bit this also enables me to get on with building if I'm not doing live shows and just things going out onto YouTube I can put that and focus it into other areas and these are certain areas that have slipped over the last year or two because again I took my eye off the ball I wasn't aware of that I'd done it but clearly you know things have slipped a little bit so we needed to get it back in check one of the things we've done now is get rid of the PM models UK show all right but what we've done is we've sort of amalgamated it now or blended it together with the Tuesday show 
So whereas the Tuesday was just a full on build and talking and yapping and all the rest of it, what we've done is we've turned it into a recorded show now, although it is recorded live, all right, where we sort of talk about everything we're doing, what we're working on, all the usual bits and pieces, but also it's got the material from PM Model. So this week especially, we spoke about all the new releases that have been mentioned over Christmas and all the ones we got really excited about. So again, that's what we've done. This frees up Wednesday completely, which now becomes a build day for me, although from your point of view, funny enough, you'll still get one because every Wednesday there'll be a review going out of something, whatever it might be. So this week, for instance, it went out on Wednesday was the FW190, the brand new one by Zukamori in one thing second that's a hell of a kit just saying but uh, so that was why that one was out and then obviously on the Thursday show now what will happen is it won't be every single Thursday it's going to be a bi-weekly as in every other Thursday show Thursday night members only again how it used to be back in the day all right then on Friday you'll get the catch-up show this one that I'm doing with you right now and there'll be the next part of whatever video build I'm working on which I'm going to be working on three shortly so members you'll be getting those rotated between Friday and Monday so usually you'll get a part on the Friday then you'll get another part on the actual Monday as well then on Tuesday we've got the live show in the afternoon at three o'clock all right which is obviously that amalgamation show right the way through and then obviously Wednesday will be a review Thursday will be a break every other week but normally it'll be a members show Friday you and then we're back and going right the way through so that's what we're doing so ideally what it does is free me up a little bit to do some of the changes I want to do to some of my videoing for instance now videoing as you know it's all about editing doing it is a piece of cake anyone can do a video but editing it and getting it sorted descriptions chapters we're going to be putting in now and all the bits that takes time so again, it's one thing I haven't had time to do. So hopefully now I can spend a little bit of time more in editing to make it a little bit. So people, when they just want to see about a specific area when I'm building on a full video build, you can just click on that chapter and it will go straight to it. So it have timestamps, chapters, all these things that will just make things easier to find. I apologize for the noise. As you might imagine, we've still got the builders here. So you can probably hear that in the background. So they're still going. Hopefully they might finish next week. I don't know if they will but it doesn't last long so it's not too bad at all all right so anyway that's what we're roughly up to there is some other changes coming and members obviously you'll know I did a little bit of a talk about it last night's live show and things like that and obviously I've spoken about it in depth on the forum so if you want to go out and catch up with that one you can go off and see all those new changes that are coming in and going to be implemented and making them right the way through this year so yes anyway it did all start on we just go back here on obviously with Monday with that one. So if you want to look at that one, it's just down in there. On Tuesday, we spoke about, well, a lot about this little lump. This is the brand new tooled on CAD clearly, uh, but obviously hopefully we'll see it soon, is the Border Models uh, HE111. All right, this is H6 version, but also it's just in 135th scale, which I think is a really, really good thing. I must admit, this is one of those areas of the modeling we've spoken about before, scales and why, and you know the crossovers and various things. I'm really glad Border Model have stuck with it and gone right the way through, all right? So this is part of our Tuesday show. So as I said before, what we've been doing with that one is basically twofold thing. We're talking about brand new kit reviews and everything else. Now it is a recorded show, so it's not live on YouTube, but to keep everybody happy and even the Flory family and everything else like that, we will be live chat on the last show of the month. The last Tuesday of the month will be an open one. All right, so we can answer all your questions live and obviously get your feedback and all the bits and pieces from that. As I said before, you can contact us in various ways, but one of the good ways of doing it now is through YouTube chat. So obviously in the comment sections underneath, just pop in there uh, after the shows, put in your comments and we can look back on those and reply to them the following week. So if you are a non-member, you can do it that way. Members, you'll just go in the forum and do it your usual way and talk underneath the show notes and the various things in there just like that. So obviously that's what we were talking about on there uh, and going right the way through. So it should be really interesting. We're going to be doing some demos, lots of demos, lots of tool reviews, obviously new kits talking about those things and everything else on top of everything we normally do on a Tuesday, like what we're currently working on and building on and things like that. So that's all going to be very good indeed. So Wednesday was this little lump. Uh, which is a beautiful kit, I have to say. This is the Zukamori, and we'll often talk about Zukamori because they are probably one of the most detailed kits you'll get straight out of the box. Obviously, I appreciate with aftermarket, you really go to town, but this kit is absolutely beautiful. Not only is it fully detailed, because that's basically Zukamori, and they don't do anything by halves, 
but it is beautifully illustrated in the instructions with full color photos showing you the actual kit going together so you've got a good painting call outs and diagrams right the way through There's a couple of different options with this kit as well so keep an eye out for that one and i know the instructions look incredibly technical but a lot of them are designed to help you out so like these side photos here explaining how things should look when it's together and they're pointing out various things onto this so the instructions are probably just over the top by uh, Western standard shall we say uh, but definitely they're there to aid the modeler right the way through to make sure you don't make any pitfalls so these things in red always take a good look at these because normally it's something that's going to really help you out with alignment uh, and things so uh, definitely something to look at but as you might imagine this is an amazing kit like we said before yes there's other options out there that are well a lot cheaper let's be honest but also if you just want something straight out of the box that's got everything thrown at it this is the kit for you because at the end of the day you can go right the way through this one step by step and you can turn out something straight out of the bottle a uh, bottle out of the box even so anyway you do get old Seafried here as well he's a limited edition figure that comes with the first batch of him resin one and he's beautifully done as you can see clear parts are crystal clear and just generally the detail right the way through my only gripe is there is a few ejector pins but i appreciate the complexity of the kit getting them out of the mold cleanly you do need ejector pins all right but again they are very very nice done right the way through that's the wing spars and all the ribbings and things and everything so very nice right the way through to the fuel tanks under the actual floor you know all these things you'll never see but they are here including one of the highlights of mine is this one where you get the pistons actually in the pots now they don't move unfortunately because otherwise that would be totally over the top but they are detailed and that's the point once you salvage it you're never going to see them but hey you know they're in there all right so if you did want to do the linings and all the rest of it knock yourself out that's how detailed this particular kit is so again you can go off see this review to be honest i highly recommend it i think it is an absolute stunning kit right the way through so you can go off and see that one last night obviously we're back to normal so it's members night obviously we were talking about all new things on there and again one of the big things we're going to be doing is focusing a lot more that goes on in the forum and i appreciate unless you remember you don't know the forum the forum is massive it's been running for 25 years now it's huge it's got thousands and thousands and hundreds of thousands of posts in there with everything you can imagine one of the big things we're going to be focusing on this year is from my point of view and definitely with the team's point of view we're going to get involved more with the group builds and sigs again something that's slip last year took my eye off of it i appreciate it's one of the big things about the site the group builds and sigs and literally as it sounds it's group build it's building everything the same thing in a particular area right the way through so for this year i'm actually starting on this which is a joint thing between me and matt so for the interbellum uh build which is six months uh basically into war all right so i'm going to be doing a tiger moth with the crew but we're going to do it's quite a large diorama matt's doing an mg car that's going to go with this thing we're thinking picket fence you know cream teas pims and everything and tiffin so we're going to go to a whole little thing with this one but it's all going to revolve around obviously the car and then obviously we're going to be doing the actual uh the plane as well the tiger moth i fancy doing one for ages and i haven't built one so again really nice this one so we're going to do it in this marking as well in the silver because it's 1938 so it fits perfectly into uh sort of pre-world war ii with that one so that's what i'm going to be doing but again this is going to be a big build over many many parts matt's already started filming his one as well so he's working on the old airfix classic mg doing that for that one i'm doing this one obviously it's sort of classic build right the way through and then like we did before and you might have seen over christmas when we actually did the one for the diorama build matt's probably going to come down here for a couple of days or i'll travel up there for a couple of days and we'll put together a diorama base for it so we're thinking about it being multi-tiered so a higher level with the actual aircraft perhaps a wind sock and all the rest of it and then a little bit of a picket fence and then a drop down onto a road or a little car park area we're obviously where the car will be and various things going on so it should be probably going to be about the same size as this once it's all done but that's the idea with it so we're going to need one hell of a display case to fit that one in but it should be good but as always we're going to show you step by step all the way through so i'll be showing you how to build that we're going to go right the way through of working with dope linen and all the rest of it rigging the usual bits and pieces on these and then matt's going to be showing you about working on the car and then we'll come together collectively for doing figures and obviously the diorama base and stuff like that so again big build big project 
looking forward to that one. The other one that's ongoing at the moment as well, which I'm getting involved with, is actually the 1944 SIG. So for this particular one, I'm doing a kit that I wanted to do last year, but unfortunately time constraints got away from me and I didn't get around to doing it. But we are going to be doing the HK uh, B25 148 scale. I've got a different set of decals for it for 1944 from uh, Italy. So that should be really, really nice with that one. I've got a couple of bits of aftermarket coming in for that as well. So next week, I'm going to be starting on these two. I'm probably going to start the Tiger Moth. We'll get this one going. And then I'm waiting for a couple of bits just to drop in for this one. But they'll be here next week. And then we can get on to the B25. Amongst all of that as well, I'm going to be starting on the Y-Wing, which is the resin monster. So I've got this big two-foot uh, Y-Wing that we're going to be working on, which is a 3D printed one as well. So that one's going to be a slow burner in the back, as you might imagine. I've got to get some scaffolding for it because it these metal supports because of the size of it so it's before we can actually get going so I need to get that measured up and get those bits of metal ordered before we can get going on that one but hopefully I will get that one sorted very very soon as well so as you can imagine there's lots going on at the moment and as I said we're going to get more involved with the group builds and SIGs and then on the Thursday night show we're going to be looking at your work in the group builds and SIGs as well on each and every show every other week as well so make sure you get your build threads updated and ready to go with that one members so yes good job so speaking of which, obviously in the forum, there's a few things being cleaned out. Uh, the big thing is we've got a new uh, what arrived at your house section. Uh, obviously we do a new one every year right the way through. And then down the bottom here, as you might imagine, we've cleaned out now the actual group build. So the Interbellum one, obviously group build, that one's gonna run right the way through until June the 30th. And that's one already. We've got 46 entries into that and we've even got one completed. Yes, it's Peter again. All right. And obviously the 1944 SIG, this one's going to run to the 31st of May. So you've got like a bit of time on that one. And we've actually got 25 entries down in there. The reveals obviously are down below just down in here. So if members, if you click in here, you can see your work and all the rest of it. And I have done the reveal build which is just down in here, which you'll see at the end of the show, all right? So that's the video for that one, and it will be up in the show notes below as a standalone, so forth and so on as well. I have done the other one as well, which will obviously will be shown next week, so I won't show it now, but members, you can get an early peek at this one as well. Just pop along down to the Bourne uh, SIG, and then it's obviously in the reveal section just down in here. So if you click down there, members, you can go off and get a sneak peek of that one a little bit earlier all the way through. So yes, lots going on this year. It's going to be a good year. I can feel it. We've got plenty of big things. Got a huge announcement, which will probably be in around about a month and a half's time, probably around about mid-February. Uh, um, we've got something huge happening, which is something never done before. I'm really looking forward to it, I must admit. So you're going to want to keep out for that one. We have been hinting about it over Christmas. If the eagle-eyed of you didn't click off the video as soon as I said, and that's about it, um, because obviously they're on the back end of the other shows. But again, something really big happening there, which we're still getting into place. But uh, that's going to be something to keep an eye out for as well. So don't forget in the store, speaking of which, uh, we have... Um, obviously, Flory Models Wash, all back in stock, all ready to go. 3D printed stuff, I will get that printed again this week. So these will all be back in stock as well. Don't forget, if you do fancy a mug, uh, we've got our mug here for members. The limited edition Flory mug has been a nightmare. I've spoken about it on the shows. We've gone for plan B. Don't panic, you're going to want this one. It's really, really good. And also, thank you to the lovely Kareen. Uh, she's now our model because she looks well, to be honest, better than we do in it, uh, as well for the Flory Models merch as well. So if you want to go over and get yourself a hoodie, or obviously we've got the t-shirts, we've got the polo shirts, which we need to get in a model, and the aprons, clearly. So uh, if you want to grab any of those bits, they are available down in there right now. If you're a non-member and you want to join us, click over on membership. This will tell us all about it. All right, so you can just pop down in here and read all, all about it, terms and conditions and everything else. Usual thing, if you're a European member, you have to come through Patreon, I'm afraid, because it's all to do with VAT and how that's paid and all the rest of it. So Patreon is really easy. It's just £4 uh, plus that a month, or you can do it yearly, which works out a little bit cheaper. You get two months free. Or in the UK, it's five quid with the VAT and all the bits and pieces all in one. And you can just sign up directly and I'll send you a link to come in. So remember, it is a manual system because it's a nightmare. So you do have to wait for me to get out of bed and then let you in and all the rest of it. But once you're in, you're in and it's only a one-off thing. All right. So that's all good down in there. Uh, PM models. A few things going on with PM models at the moment. Uh, the big thing is, is that we've got rid of our discount area because now we're giving 12% off of all model kits. Not 10%, 12 
12% off of absolutely everything. That includes the brand new releases. So down in here, if you imagine, so as you can see, the price in red is the price you pay, as we say. All right, so you can see down in there. So I think we've got a couple of these left in there and all the rest of it. Again, we've got big changes coming over to uh, the PM store. We've got new ranges coming in shortly. Uh, we've got a new paint range coming in very, very shortly. We're really excited about We're just doing the final touches, getting it on the site, and then that'll be available to you all as well. And no doubt I'll be doing an on test with the paint to see how it works and all the rest of it. All right. But again, some really nice stuff down there and everything is discounted. So if we just, I don't know, Airfix, as you can see, all the latest kit releases are down in here as well so if you want to go in and have a look you can see the prices are all in red so everything now across the board is discounted by 12 percent so definitely something you look at the other thing as well and that's why they're on my desk in front of me is that we got some more books something we're going to be spending a little bit of time on this uh, year is improving our bo a little bookstore which we really like and some of my favorite books are down in here as well uh, so again a lot of people ask about the books that i've got we've tried to get those in where we can so if you fancy any of those you see good prices and we can get them out to you straight away, all right? And obviously for members, you've still got your pre-order area and your various things on the site with even better prices uh, and everything that goes along with it. So this year is gonna be really, really full on. We've got lots and lots going on, really excited about it. To give you a little bit of an idea, if you didn't watch Tuesday's show, other builds that I'll be doing this year is, we're gonna be doing the Meng Apache, which really excited about. I've got a Gannet, obviously the new FX Gannet, so we're going to be building that this year. I've got the FM, yeah, I don't know, you saw the review, that one models Halifax, 148 scale Halifax, which is literally on a par with a really, really bad vac form kit. Um, but so anyway, it'll be fun. And also I've got a lightning down in there for the two seats, which we're going to be doing for the SIGs. So we've got various things for the SIGs and group builds. We've got a Spanish SIG coming up later in the year. So I might do a Matador for that, which I quite fancy doing. Uh, and other group builds I'm going to be taking part right the way through. And as always, when new things get released, and I think I've got to build one of them. I'll be building those as well. So hopefully this year we'll get on to really good building, got a little bit more time, which is good. Uh, and we can really push on with those and make our way through with them all. So that's about it from me for this week. Don't forget, I'm going to leave you, though, with a fantastic uh, finish reveal video to our 1950 SIG. Some amazing work in there. I know it's eight and a half minutes because there's 127 entries into it, but uh, it's well worth. So please stick around and have a look at some of the work in there because it is truly breathtaking. All right. So that's it from me. I will catch up with all of you on Monday. So until then, everybody, happy modeling. Take care.